Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Nina Same. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button, turn on the notification so you are notified each time I upload and please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here. I am truly grateful. Thank you all so much. So today we'll be talking something very important and it's actually about this white guy who came to tell black people that white like he said it's white people's big secret and he went for that to say that every white person knows someone who is rare and see rare to the seas to black people and uh, when he started talking i was like b black people would know about this i am sure you all know that like in everyone like you know all of them they all know that one person who is like crazy Ray and sis and he went for that to like you know call out his family members his parents grandparents and the rest of his i mean like you know calling them all out on their bullshit Ray and sis and the rest of it and i am like it's really crazy how these people sit down and say some nasty things like you know some Ray and sis things to black people even black people actually don't even like you know remember that they do exist or want to sit down they don't, they don't black, people, black people don't sit down and want to start talking about white people and how they are ready to desist and or i don't know if you get what i am saying but this is a reality they don't sit down to start talking about they just want to actually exist and uh you know and let you all dismantle the system you black people don't give a shot you know what stay with the screen i'm just gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it and i absolutely want to read Oh, you all comment. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. I straight up, I am rolling the clip. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. Every single white person knows somebody who is racist. Racist towards black people, racist towards Spanish people. We all know somebody. It might be our family member. might be a distant relative. might be a co-worker. might be an old friend. But we all know somebody. Personally, I come from a whole family of racist people. Yeah, my entire family is Republican too, okay? My dad's parents are racist, and my mom's parents are racist, <laughs> okay? So I'm literally going against everything by talking about this. I am putting my own life on the line by speaking about this, and that's what we all should be doing. See, we could have ended this a long time ago. But people like my mom listened to these racist comments that their parents were making and didn't speak out against it. They kept their mouths shut or they agreed with them silently, you know, but they didn't do anything about it. They continued to let this be passed on generation after generation. So my mom never told me or taught me any racist ideologies. She continued to let it happen because she didn't speak out against it when her parents were talking about it, or my dad's parents were talking. So if you are against racism and you are against discrimination and you're a white person, you need to speak out about it. Otherwise, you are allowing this to continue generation after generation, and you are just as much a part of the problem as anybody else. Every single white person knows somebody who is racist. So that makes it incumbent upon every single white person that knows a racist. If you know a racist, I don't care if it's your grandmama, your granddaddy, your mama, your daddy, your uncle, your auntie, your brothers, your sisters, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your husbands, your wives, anybody that you know. It is incumbent upon you to go and say something to that person about them being racist. This has gone on for far too long. Everyone needs to make a concerted effort. I just happened to come across this guy's page, man, and I was just like, damn, if every one of y'all know somebody who is racist, then why wouldn't you say something to him? Why wouldn't you check him? This should be on everybody's agenda. Everybody's. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. <laughs> that ain't no damn secret. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
I'm so proud of you for coming to this realization. But my other secret is I'm from Mississippi, so it was taught to me. I already know. <laughs> Who told you this was a secret? <laughs> Bro, you ain't looked outside your window lately. You can <laughs> Bro. <laughs> we know y'all got cameras in y'all. <laughs> Bro. Every single white person knows somebody who is racist. We already know this, my boy, but we appreciate the double heads up. But we already on game. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. Every single. I'm glad you, I'm glad you're trying to change the situation and let white people know that, that it's not good to be like that towards people just because of the color of their skin. That's just stupid as fuck. But in another secret that black people all know that white people know somebody that's white. That's racist towards black people or they grew up around racism about their whole life. We know that already, but I mean, I guess just how y'all is, and that's a shame that it have to be that way. Cause us black people, when we around each other, we don't even think about white people. We don't think about harming a white person. We don't think about doing nothing crazy or nothing to a white white people. We don't even even really even bring up white people. Like we don't even care to even harm nobody. We just be we about our own problems. Like I. I don't think black people can be racist. I don't really know. I don't. I don't know no black people who just ever s just sat around and talk about white people and said, "Oh, we hate white people" or whatever. Like we don't care. Like we don't even think about even. We don't. We don't even think like that. Like a regular black person that's in their right mind, we don't even think like, "Oh, I fucking hate white people" or they want to do something to white people. We don't care. We like black people is the most accepting people on this planet earth we we can go anywhere and get along with any race and not give a fuck about nothing and we can make y'all ass feel comfortable as hell so i'm glad you sticking up for black people and let your people know like that shit is weird as fuck and speak out and keep on speaking out and i fuck with all the white people who speak out for black people i fuck with y'all Y'all cool, y'all cool, y'all cool with me. I fuck with y'all and keep on doing that and show them that that shit ain't right because that's what's up. I fuck with it. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. I'm trying to find where the secret at. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. That ain't no secret. That ain't no motherfucking secret. We been through that. Yo. Every single white person knows somebody who is racist. I'm not going to say go back and watch the video because basically what he's saying is um, all white people know somebody who is racist, whether someone close, uh, uh, an employee, blah, 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 blah. I mean, we as black folk we already knew this this is nothing new to us this is the thing though this is not to him um this is for us this is a message for my people my melanated people people who look like me listen we are so quick to let our guard down it's ridiculous it's quite sad right it's quite sad when y'all see um a white person dancing got a little rhythm right got a little soul in their voice right or say or give us a message that that coincides them to what we believe y'all y'all let y'all guard down he's invite this invited to the cookout shit has to stop y'all are coons stop that shit this when when people like him uh white people or uh, other white people make um videos like this and it's a good message it is it's really a good message but this is what i need y'all to do i need y'all to stop going into the comments and saying thank you king thank you brother let's protect him at all costs 
let's protect us. <laughs> let's protect us at all costs because that's what we fail to do. Okay? We're not doing that. That's the issue. Y'all want to protect them because they could dance or they, they talk, they speak out against racism. But where's the protection for us in our community? Where's the protection? Like y'all are ridiculous. Protect them. You're you're invited to the cookout king. You're we protect them. I, I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much, y'all. Let the message be for the who the message is intended for. And that message wasn't intended for us. This is shit we already knew. What you should be doing as a white person is fucking taking that shit to your people. Y'all started the racism. We y'all we don't have the answers how how to end racism. That's not our concern. That's not our concern. If y'all really want this shit to stop, y'all got to start within yourself, white people. Y'all started this shit. It's been going on for eons. It's been going on for eons. But yeah, I hate when we do that as black people. Y'all got to stop that shit, bro. Like, y'all really be... I When I see this type of shit, it's always the black people in the fucking comments. Oh, yes, King, I... I just can't. I just wanted to throw that message and hopefully this reached the target audience. This hopefully it reached the target. The See, I because I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm so angry. I can't even get the words out. I hope this reached who it needs to reach. Okay? Because at this point, like we, got to, we just got to do better. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret about white people. You're absolutely right, Tan. But the crazy thing about it is slowly and slowly and slowly your peers around you and just like you said at the end it's going to happen for generations and generations and there's going to be people that are liberals millennials gen z's and stuff like that that ask themselves at one point did i become a racist they're going to start having these questions these situations where they're having videos put on them and saying i'm not a racist and the thing about it is at one point, they wasn't a racist, but like you said, they listened to all the racism comments from their peers and everybody else, from the guys that's pretty much doing crypto all the way to the guy that's pretty much a janitor. And that's crazy that I'm saying that, but it's actually true. And as long as the racism comes, keeps going, and as long as you stand near these peers, you're going to become, just like they say, you are what you eat. Um, if you stay with hoes, you become a hoe, you know flock together, birds of the feather flock together. That's exactly what happens. And unfortunately, as you get older, that's going to happen. So I don't know what y'all going to do. I think it's pretty much, honestly, I honestly believe that is a DNA trait. And because it has happened for, for decades, it's pretty much like etched inside like the DNA of y'all. And unfortunately, it's going to take a whole lot of traits of forcing yourselves not to become that in order for your DNA to change. And I'm going to be honest, it's just like how they say, like, oh, our teeth or whatever like this. I think it's not our teeth. It's our spleen or something like that. Or one of one of our intestines or organs or whatever um, technically was used for bark. We don't eat bark now. Right. Exactly. So the same thing with all this stuff, you want to be able to change it. It's going to take some time. This is stuff that we've been dealing for years, for over 400 years, 400 years plus. Trust me. 400 years of doing that, it's not going to happen overnight, guy. I'm going to tell you that right now. Liberals, millennials, and Gen Z is trying to do everything that's been going on for 400 years. It's not going to happen overnight, and it's not going to happen in over a couple of years. Black people will be like, yo, B, we've been know this for a long time. Yeah, let me say this. Uh, I appreciate the fact that he came out. He called out his family um, being Ray and C's and let him call them out in person. Not just coming to social media to call them out. Call them, call their asses out, real life. Tell them, hey, you've been racist. You are a Ray and C's towards black people. And it's time for you all to change. You know, because, man, 
black people have been saying this all like forever i mean looking for ali like you know he is a guy like, like the other lady said if you fought with black people black people are gonna f with you too so uh um it's amazing that he actually came out to speak but i hope he already spoke to his family about being red and sins to black people stop it it doesn't pay to be red and sin black people don't actually sit down and want to talk about black people sorry talk about white people no they don't they're just like you know and they are the most accepting people like you know to be around if you know what i am saying they are the coolest humans on earth they don't wake up and want to think about like how are we supposed to do this about black people but it's like you know in your own history to like you know do some shitty things to black people like you know have a secret uh audios where you want to learn and shame black people and the rest of it man it's so messed up this is where i am gonna draw the curtain thank you all so much for all the love and support i will see you all in my next video bye for now